Om Shanti, today is your 118th day of your meditative blessing and in today's blessing, Baba says that if you create too many thoughts, including waste thoughts, or if you have an idea and that idea has got too many different parallels to it, then that thought is not going to become something which is going to be perfect or successful. So we need to make our thoughts limited and that is one of the reasons why God tells us to meditate. He tells us that you need to remove the waste thoughts. It doesn't mean that you don't think thoughts regarding what you have to do or what ideas you have. But to include waste thoughts or to include weeds when you're growing a plant, the thought is a seed, but then de-weeding them is very important. If you grow waste thoughts, impure thoughts towards yourself, towards others, like doubt, like having any form of negativity or greed or comparison with others when you make bring that idea upon, then that thought is going to be unlimited and it is going to grow a lot of weeds and that's where the success rate of that thought or that idea is going to be very less. So let's explore what exactly Baba has to say today. Baba says, May you become an image of perfection by achieving success in your every thought and action image of perfection. He wants us to become that like him. So success in your thoughts is achieved when the thoughts you create are powerful. And what is the method of making those thoughts powerful? Let's explore that. Those who create a lot of thoughts are unable to sustain them, right? Because the mind goes in so many different directions that you lose the essence of your idea itself. What all directions do they go into? Let's explore them also. And this is why bigger your creation, the more powerless you are. The more thoughts you create, and especially we have how, when, where, what, who. We have so many questions and so many doubts in our mind. And that is the extension of our thoughts. That seed ends up growing too many weeds. So instead of making the roots powerful, we make the weeds powerful. So Baba then says, the more powerless you are. So first of all, stop the creation of waste. What all waste thoughts can we have? Doubting others or saying, oh, this person is not going to let me do this. Or this idea, this person will never agree to my idea. He or she will always put down my ideas. In the beginning itself, you create the seed and you create the weeds also at the same time. Or you think, oh, the government is like that. Or oh, people around my society are like that. Or my neighbors are like that, they won't let me do it. Or my parents are like that. Or my, my siblings are like that. Or my wife or my husband is like that. He or she will always bring in the negativity if I do want to do something. He will always put down my ideas. Or I better not think about this because I'm not worth it. Or my ideas don't have any value and all these waste thoughts are the weeds which we create and why are they coming because of lack of energy in our thoughts lack of energy means we have less of purity in our mind towards ourselves and towards people and towards everything around us for which we need to meditate a lot and meditation is the only answer to remove those weeds and to get that power and purity from god the father the supreme being so baba says so first of all, stop the creation of waste and you will then achieve success. The way to achieve success in your actions is to know the beginning, middle and end of the action before you perform that action. Now Baba at Brahma Kumaris has taught us our future births. He has taught us about our past births. He is telling us about what we need to do in this present birth. So this action which I take is going to affect not just me, but the people, the souls around me. And not just that, not just in this birth, but in many births is going to affect the actions which I take. So somewhere or the other, the souls, even if they left me in between after doing a wrong action, I'm going to meet them somewhere in the cycle again and they will take the revenge of that. So I have to remember that. I need to remember that my actions today have to be fruitful even for my next coming births. And how many births? We have learned that at Brahma Kumaris. How many births back do we need to think about? We have learned that at Brahma Kumaris. That's the secret which we need to know so as to take the action now so that we are abstaining ourselves from any greedy actions, any sinful actions, any actions which lead to pain and suffering to others in our life so that we take care of our future births and also what's going to happen because the cycle is round. Everything which goes around comes around. So Baba says we have to think about the beginning, the middle and the end of the action and we need to think what kind of souls we are so as to be in the right direction, the right path while doing that action. So before you perform that action, by doing this, you will become an image of perfection. So think about waste thoughts which you have. If you have those doubts, if you have those questions, if you put yourself down, 
if you think low of yourself if you think that somebody is a hurdle or a hindrance to your growth then come to brahma kumaris learn the meditation learn how to remove those hindrances not the people in your life but the hindrances which are living within you so i leave you with this beautiful blessing of god have a blessed day stay safe stay at home om shanti Thank you.